Welcome back, young disciples. I'm glad to have you as we talk about more nature lessons. I'm, I'm speaking to you from the campus of Young Disciple Ministries in Inchileam, Washington, right near a little stream and not far from Lake Roosevelt. Let me have a prayer with you and we'll talk. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, I'm asking that you'll bless us as we talk about the lessons of nature and the truth in your Bible. I ask in the name of Jesus, amen. I wonder what type of trees you have in your yard. If you live in Washington, where I am now, you might have pine trees. And where I grew up in Alaska, you have pine trees too. And you know, all around me here are pine trees. Let me show you some of them. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna turn this up high. And I don't know if you can see, but there are some tall pine trees. There are thousands of them all around me just now. But let me see if I can get back in the picture. I want to talk to you a bit about these pine trees. Because you know the pine trees, well, how do they become stable? There are several things that help a pine tree be stable. First of all, many pine trees grow straight up. If you looked at those ones I showed you, they're straight. People love to cut down pine trees for boards because they're so straight. And we're going to talk about what that means for us too. But there's something else you might not know. And that is pine trees, many of them, they live in rocky areas where they can't put down roots very far. But you know what these pine trees do? This isn't a pine tree, but pine trees put out their roots sideways and then lock hands, if you will. Their roots interlock with the roots of other pine trees. The pine trees help hold each other up. If you could imagine, if you were in a crowd and everyone was holding on to you, you couldn't fall over. If everyone was grabbing you and you fainted, you'd still be upright because they'd be holding you. And there's something else too. And that is those pine trees, they do try to make sure that they have roots in every direction and that they're balanced up top. You know, a pine tree that only has branches on one side, it's vulnerable, it can fall. Well, there are a lot of lessons we can learn here. And I wanna just describe each of those three for you that I learned from pine trees. First of all, about being upright. Let me read you something from Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. This is about when people were terribly disappointed in 1844, when they thought Jesus would come back, but then he did not. It says, Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. What does that mean? That means that when you're disappointed, or when you're shamed, or when you're embarrassed or when you're angry, it's easy for you to be bent. It's easy for you to lose your uprightness. It's easy for you to turn away from faith because you're afraid of being embarrassed. So the just, they live by faith. But the ones who end up being shamed or pushed by their shame or by their disappointment into going the wrong way, if shame pushes you sideways, you're not upright anymore. If embarrassment pushes you sideways, you're not upright anymore. If peer pressure pushes you sideways, you're not upright anymore. Being upright is an important part of being stable. Well, what about that being balanced? You know, in the times of Jesus and earlier, most people were balanced. Even the king, remember King Ahab, that wicked king? Even he went out looking for water for the animals. Even he had his own garden where he took care of things. In the time of the Bible times, almost everyone did some work outside and they did some study inside. They were pretty balanced people. But you know, today we're not so balanced. We got some people that do lots of exercise trying to get to the Olympics, and, but they never do any study. And we have other people who study, 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 but they don't do much exercise. We have people that are so social, but they never spend time really thinking through life and reflecting. And we have other people who spend lots of time reflecting, but they don't socialize with anybody. They're a bit like a tree that has branches on one side. It might stand for a while, but when wind comes, that lack of balance is gonna make it easier for it to fall down. So we can learn from trees that we want to be balanced. We want to balance our social life, our physical life, our spiritual development. 
we want to be sure we're getting outside and doing study inside. And what was that other lesson from the trees? God didn't make us to be all by ourselves, individual atoms. He made us to hold on to each other. He made us to have good friends. And when you choose good friends and you connect to them and they pray with you and you pray with them, you study with them and they study with you, what you're doing is you're interlocking your roots. And that way, even though you might be a brand new Christian, you might only be 10, 11, or 13 years old, even though you're like a tree that can't put down roots very far, by holding on to these other people, you can develop strength and stability. We can learn a lot from the trees. I want to thank God for giving pine trees that go straight up, pine trees that hold on to each other, and pine trees that are balanced, that have branches on all sides. We can learn a lot from them. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, I thank you for the pine trees here in the Pacific Northwest. Would you please teach us how to be balanced? Show us what friends could be a support to us and keep us from being pushed off kilter by discouragement or embarrassment or by peer pressure. Let us live by faith. We ask in the name of Jesus. Amen.